All right, how's it going? I'm back again. I told you I got a lot of time on my hands since so I'm not really allowed to work. Go hiking, running, ride my bike. Pretty much can't leave the house for a while since I just had brain surgery. Um, what I wanted to show you today is I've got three Swiss entrenching tools or fighting tools here. Um, now these two on your right are basically the same thing. Um, there's a couple minor uh, differences between these. Number one, you can see I've got two different uh, carriers for these. One of them has the classic leather cover. The other one is the leather and steel cover. So take a look at that. Um, now, unfortunately, I did not weigh these, but I believe the steel one um, actually weighs less than this. But hey, my scale's not working very well right now. And I just want to show you this right here. Um, they both have the, the loops, so you can either put this on your, your belt, or you can put it on a rucksack, like on the Swiss rucksack, um, using these. Um, they also have you know, a strap here to secure these. Um, I know it's, it's hard for me. I, I kind of like the steel one better. I mean, I like the way the leather looks. Um, but what I like about the steel one that's different is, is it, it still stays in here because inside they have some, some clips or spring clips inside of here. So it still secures it until I take it out. Um, so sometimes I'll actually wear this when I'm walking around or sometimes at work. Um, I live in the Seattle and work in the Seattle area and there's a lot of transients and addicts and, and bad people around. I'm not allowed to carry uh, you know, a weapon. If I have an axe, it's still a, a tool, but it's more like a weapon type of thing. So, you know, I'm just I'm just uh, getting ready for uh, snow, I'll, I'll say. Um, but anyway, what I like is you can put this in and it stays in there. And then if, if I have it right here, I can just take it out and I can start digging, right? So that's what's kind of cool on that. It's also a little bit lighter. Um, now, between these two, um, there's really not much difference here except for on the handle. You can see here, um, yeah, this has like an octagon uh, shape on here uh, versus this one, which is more round. So this one was made in 1940, and this one was made in 1943. Um, pretty much made exactly the same. Um, just the handle. This this is uh, 1940s. The only time that I've seen this. All the ones I've seen after have this octagon right here. Um, I don't know. I like these. I mean, they're they're, they're heavy. You know, it's probably similar to those uh, Spetsnaz uh, shovels, but I don't have one of those. I've been thinking about it, but come on. Why do I need some more shovels? Um, but uh, you know, I, I, I like I like these a lot. I'm, I'm probably gonna end up selling one of these. I don't know. I mean, you know, I take these to the the beach with my son, and then we'll we'll um, dig over there and do do all that good stuff. I'll use them at 
work and at uh, home for stuff. I mean, these things have been around a long time. Take a look at this one. You can't see it very well, but it's been um, repainted numerous times. So I think it was probably originally black before, um, but I see some gray underneath here and then another uh, layer of black over top of that. So what I've seen on a lot of these um, Swiss shovels is they seems like they um, paint them like a, a dark gray color for storage is my guess. Um, because I've had a couple of these ones as well and they seem like they've uh, repainted them with another color on top of there. Uh, this is the folding one, so you can see that's obviously different than the, the earlier ones. And then this one is from 1962. Um, you still have a leather cover, which you can hang once again from your belt or from your rucksack. Um, I haven't figured out what this extra strap is here. So, I mean, if if you can tell me what I'm supposed to do with this strap here, I don't I don't quite get it. Because you got this one to secure this in there. I, all I can think is that maybe this is a different way to mount it, either on your belt or on equipment. But I've never seen anybody talk about this. I haven't seen any pictures about this strap or what the actual use for this thing here is. I don't know. Um, I mean, these things, I mean, this thing is from 1950, no, 60, on this cover uh, right here. Um, all these things are made really well, and that's why I like a lot of Swiss um, surplus, because they seem to be made really well. Um, now for, for a folder, this thing is super heavy, um, which is a good thing. I mean, this thing is great because you can just really abuse it and you're not going to have um, a lot of problems with it. Um, downside is, you know, do you really want to throw this on your, your ruck and go for a big hike? Probably not, but I mean, if you're going on a long hike, you probably don't take a and the trenching tool anyway, but um, it's, it's just a nice heavy, heavy tool. All of these are. Um, just wanted to show you a couple things there. If you have any questions or things like that, um, just put some comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks a lot for putting up with me once again. This is just part of my recovery. I'm trying to talk more. And do more things because I'm just limited uh, what I can do while I recover and I just wanted to show some people stuff that you might not always see on YouTube or online. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.